Have you ever wondered why the scales of justice are balanced? Or why the concept of balance is so deeply embedded in our notions of fairness and equality? Once upon a time, in a bustling city, there lived a man named Thomas. Thomas was a talented cobbler, known throughout the city for his exquisite craftsmanship. Despite his talent, Thomas was a humble man who lived a simple life in a small house. Across the city lived another man named Richard. Richard was a wealthy merchant, known for his extravagant lifestyle and grand mansion. However, Richard was also known for his arrogance and disregard for others. One day, a great flood swept through the city, causing devastation and despair. Many lost their homes, their livelihoods, and their hopes. Among those affected was Thomas. His small house was washed away along with his tools, leaving him with nothing but the clothes on his back. In stark contrast, Richard's grand mansion was built on higher ground. It remained untouched by the flood. But instead of offering help to his fellow citizens, Richard reveled in his fortune, throwing lavish parties and flaunting his wealth. One day a stranger walked into the city. He was a cobbler like Thomas and had heard of the city's misfortune. Moved by the plight of the city's people, he offered to help. He gave Thomas his spare tools and taught him new techniques, reviving his livelihood. Word of this act of kindness spread throughout the city and people began to see the stark difference between the actions of the two men. Although Richard had wealth and power, he lacked compassion and empathy. On the other hand, Thomas, despite his misfortune, had the support and respect of his fellow citizens. This tale is a timeless reminder of the importance of helping others and maintaining a balance in life. It reminds us that wealth and power are fleeting while compassion and kindness are enduring. In summary, this story illustrates three key points. First, that in times of adversity, it is our actions that define us, not our wealth or status. Second, that helping others is not just a noble act, but a necessary one for a balanced and fair society. And third, that life rewards those who understand the importance of balance, fairness and empathy. Remember, the scales of justice are balanced for a reason. And just like Thomas and the stranger, each one of us holds the power to tip the scales towards fairness and kindness. So, don't just stand on the sidelines. March up to those in need, lend a hand, and make life a little easier for them? After all, isn't that what fairness in life is all about?